again guys welcome back to the channel please smash a like on the video please hit the subscribe button if you're new and you've just found us we're approaching 13,000 subs Leicester City fifth in the Premier League establishing yourselves as that top six side which is great for the fan not so great if you're a young whippersnapper in the squad trying to break into the first team. It can be quite hard. With the likes of Ben Chilwell, Hamza Chowdhury, Harvey Barnes that have come from the, you know, the graduates, the academy and getting into the first team. There's more players in the fold now that have gone out on loan th this season just gone. And we're going to catch up with where they have been and what they've been up to. OK, so first up, Kieran Dewsby Hall. Better known by the Leicester fans as KDH. Uh, you only needed to see the pictures of KDH's performance this season at Luton, which is where he went on loan. He, uh, he managed to get hold of um, Player of the Month awards and including, by the way, the Player of the Year, Player's Player of the Year trophy as well. A 22-year-old, uh, absolutely smashing it, and uh, one of the most progressive midfielders in the Division 2. Rodgers has set plans for him. At some point, I can see him being in the first side of Leicester City. So KDH looking like he is going to come back at some point. It was only a season-long loan to Luton. Uh, he's been with the academy since 2006. Uh, Shep Shed born, by the way. Uh, so he's one of our own. So, yeah, that, there you go. So, KDH, I, we're expecting him to come back probably next season. Give or take, he's under the watchful eye of Brendan Rodgers. You know Rodgers likes the youth anyway. So, uh, keep, keep your eye on KDH. Keep your eye on KDH. Up next, Josh Knight. 23 years old. He's been at the club since he was eight years of age. Uh, he took prizes as well at Wickham. His uh, season loan at Wickham, he won the Players' Player of the Year too. His performances as the centre-back and in also defensive midfield as the holding role uh, has caught the eye and nearly helped the uh, the chair boys uh, secure an unlikely survival. Uh, before he left on loan, City triggered a clause in his contract to add another year. So the 23-year-old still has one year left at at the King Power Stadium as well. Although a future Ace hometown club seems unlikely, uh, we'll just keep our eyes on Josh Knight. We'll have to just keep our eyes on him. He's definitely got interest in the championship, though, uh, by uh, newly promoted Peterborough. So we'll have to see on the movement for him going forwards at the club. Speaking of Wickham, uh, alongside, obviously, Knight... Admiral Muswi was also there for the season. Uh, got three goals as well, but um, his progress has been shunted by injuries over the recent years. And uh, that will probably be a, a factor for the club going forward, for Leicester going forward. Daniel Iverson uh, became a fan favourite during his loan spells at Oldham and Rotherham. And that was no different at Preston this season. Um, he's been exceptional shot-stopping abilities, winning in plenty of admirers. Uh, as City have obviously two number ones, as uh, Rogers has put it, although we don't get to see Danny Ward much. And Casper Schmeichel obviously always in the sticks. I can't really see that um, Daniel Iverson getting much chance at the club regardless right now. I think it's just the wrong time for him at the end of the day. Um, especially to have three keepers. It's just not the right time. Um, so I can imagine he's going to go for another loan spell. Uh, that that seems more likely. He's got about four years left on his contract as it stands as well. Uh, so we'll have to just keep our eye out on uh, Daniel Iverson as well. Now, one player that Leicester fans do know is George Hurst. He did get a sub on in the first team uh, earlier in the season, but did get a loan out to Rotherham and failed to score, unfortunately, in 28 appearances, by the way, from the bench uh, in the championship. And they got relegated to Rotherham. Um, you know, it, it's not the greatest of records for him, but he has had a very good good record at the development squad at Leicester and he's held quite highly in regard. So George Hurst, I'm still expecting him to have another chance at Leicester, regardless of his form with Rotherham this season. Now moving on to a now moving
Now, moving on to a, uh, you can call him a lesser legend if you want, uh, part of the promotion from the championship side, uh, also part of the survival side and the great escape side of the 2014-15 season. Matty James, maybe a favourite of yours, maybe not. Uh, massive nine years at the club, uh, but now he must find a new permanent home. There is no room for Matty James at the club. Uh, great composure, decent leadership, uh, and uh, he has, has he does have a good vision for a ball as well. Um, his loan spells at Barnsley and Coventry this season, uh, he shouldn't find it too hard to find somewhere uh, going forward. Best luck to Matty James. Good luck to Matty James's future. Um, but uh, I don't think his future will, uh, unfortunately, it won't It won't be at the King Power Stadium. But thank you for everything that you've done for the club and uh, and good luck. Now, one of Rodgers' players at Celtic that was originally, uh, obviously went out on loan from Leicester, Philip Benkovic. Um, it goes from bad to worse for him, to be quite honest with you. Uh, he only featured once for uh, Cardiff on loan and uh, suffered a, a defeat uh, by Wickham, uh, which was by him one of his own errors unfortunately uh, and he then he was returned to Leicester and then sent to the OH Levan uh, that Leicester own um, and has not played a single game there either in Belgium uh, he's not ready to play in the Premier League yet according to Brennan Rodgers which is what he said in January that's the brutal honesty of it um, after playing one game all season, it's not really going to help him get close to the level that he needs to be. Uh, he's still got two years left as well on Leicester's uh, books, but I can't see him, to be honest with you, getting another chance at Leicester. And if he doesn't get some game time soon, he's going to find it quite hard to find a lone club that's going to give him a chance too. And then we move on to Mr. Riyad Mahrez's replacement, uh, Rakid Gazal. It's hard to imagine... And another Algerian coming in, an Algerian winger coming in and being as good as Mares. Because that's what Leicester thought they were going to have. I knew it was not going to happen. Um, but his loan spell at, uh, at Besiktas uh, has been incredible, to say the least. Scoring the winning goal in the last game to help them lift the title. Uh, and setting up one in the cup final as well. Uh, in total, he's registered superb eight goals and an astonishing 18 assists this season. Uh, but those numbers will not be enough to get him back at Leicester, I don't think. His future is already over at the King Power Stadium, though it might help him get a better club going forwards uh, as his contract his contract does run out, I think, in the summer uh, for Gazal. Unfortunately, it's just not worked out for him, but Leicester just haven't been able to replace every Mahrez on that right wing. It's just not happened. You know, Demai Gray, the same thing happened to him as well. I thought maybe he would step up. Didn't happen. Uh, Kengez Under came in uh, on loan as well. It just didn't happen for him either. I think Leicester is still looking for that magic on the right wing. And unfortunately, I don't know if you can really replace Riyad Mahrez. He's one of the best players to ever wear the shirt. Yes, bad attitude, but player on the pitch, whew, I'd take him back any day of the week. Now, we'll finish this video on a high. Uh, alongside KDH, uh, Kamal Sara is a player that Leicester have very, very, very high hopes for. In his fourth season on loan in Belgium uh, for the King Power's second side, uh, the Ghanaian enjoyed his best year, making a real breakthrough in the club's first campaign back into the top flight. He scored eight goals and provided six assists, started every game as well, showing his versatility as he featured on both wings and in behind the strikers. The 21-year-old was at Seagrave in May to be assessed by Brendan Rodgers ahead of next season. Could he be in the squad? Time will tell. But Brendan Rodgers seems to like him. Uh, he has said farewell as well to O.H. Levan, uh, Leicester's second side. Well, King Power's second side. Uh, so won't be going back there. So maybe he could go loaned out to another English club in the Championship. Or maybe he might get the chance to step up. Maybe. Who knows? That's it for today's video. Smash a like on the video. Please hit the subscribe button as well and follow me on all social platforms. Who do you think will lead the King Power Stadium this season and who do you think will return from loan last season? Drop in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.